Father, I am not comfortable with what I heard. I'm not. My dear, you have to be very comfortable. I am not after the whole river as a businessman. I am only after a sizable part of the river. Where I intend to secure with giant nets, in that portion, I will keep some fishes that I am, I am planning to feed specially for them to grow into giant fishes. Listen, it promises to be very good business for me. I'm glad to hear that, Father. Good. But the issue is that I am becoming so attached to the people of Okponago day by day. I don't understand. How do you mean you are becoming attached to the people of Okponago? What do you mean about them? In my dream, Mother appeared to me and introduced a man of Okponago as my husband. Ever since then, I have felt this connection with them. Are you sure the person you saw was your mother? I won't lie to you, father. So how is it possible? Your mother who died when you turned 18. I mean, your mother who knows everything about our tradition will appear to you and introduce a man of Obonago and call him yours. No, how is that possible? But I'm telling you the truth. If it is, do you know who you are? No, have you forgotten the position you occupy in this kingdom? You are a special child. You are a gift of the gods to this kingdom. You are a messenger of the gods and above all, you are the bearer of our sacred cowrie. The sacred cowrie of our Umedili people. Father. Don't you know? I know that already. Must you make reference to that? Making reference to that because based on that alone, you're supposed to know that you cannot be married to another land. You cannot be married to a stranger. You should know that yourself. So why are you mentioning Obunagu to me? Father, can I ask you a question? Important question. Go ahead. I'm listening. If in truth, you see the people of Obunagu as strangers, why are you investing a whooping sum of 50 bags of money in their river? Oh, are you trying to tell me is the river that attracted you to them? The sacred cowry is an instrument of the ancestors, handed down to us by our forefathers from generation to generation. It remains the highest weapon any man can wear against his enemy. This man he call unpopular bears the caduceus of the ancestors, which makes me legitimate and a powerful king. You are a fool. How dare you? You dare call a king a fool in this abode? If you ever lift your filthy ass on me, Again, I will kill you. My uncle will declare himself king. I thought you will be done about it. <laughs> <laughs> there is an element of good in the worst of us, and some bad in the best of us. There is this look. That can only be seen in a woman when there is a man making her heart throb. It took you just one appearance to humble my father. Is there anything too difficult for you to understand? If only I can get answers to why he always haunts my dreams. It will help me a lot. I do not know if she's the one haunting me or if I've been the one haunting her. You expect me to be calm when my wife brings another man home? I am not your wife. I never agreed to marry you. So where is this wife thing coming from? You mean you will allow that fine handsome man slip through your fingers? But you see this young man in particular, I do not love, I will not marry, and my answer is no. You call him your man, but he is not. He, he has continued to take advantage of you. I know you believe in the existence of Momo Kechuku, the guardian angel. 
you can call me one.